This was quite a learning experience, I want to say, not just for the government um, at both levels, the county government and the national government, um, but even for you know our neighbors, for other low and middle income countries um, who are still uh, reliant on uh, donor support for various programmatic interventions, um, but for a lot of their health activities. So just uh, for context, Kenya's health budget, uh, around one third um, is, is uh, from various development partners, whether bilateral agencies, multilateral agencies, private philanthropies, to name but a few. So it's really important that we work, we walk hand in hand. And this relationship has evolved over time. It came into being very heavily at the time of vertical programs, HIV, malaria, TB. But we are now moving into a more systems approach, a more integrated approach where we are trying uh, to improve, to strengthen the entire system as opposed to one vertical program. And so this dynamic has uh, really changed, has really evolved the relationship between uh, governments and, and, and the development partners in which they work with. Capacity building doesn't look like what it looked like in the past. You'll actually find uh, not just one or two local e experts, but you have people who have the training at the same caliber, at the same level as a lot of the agencies, um, the development agencies that are present in town, but you have them locally. And, and not, don't, not only do they have a formal training, they have the experience. And the experience, understanding the context is what makes all the difference. So I want to say that this was actually a very huge learning undertaking, not just for the government, but also for the development partners. How do you engage with a country that's maturing? A country that's not just maturing um, in a development sense, but is maturing in an economic sense, has a better educated population, has a, a people who have formal training that equates those who would have previously been brought up, brought in as experts, um, and understanding where where everyone's strength lies, and so that we leverage on that the most. This was quite a unique experience, um, you know, and as things happen, some partners came along, some were left, unfortunately were left behind because this, this was different. This was nothing like we had envisioned before where you get a pot of money to execute a, sort, a specific program. This was a learning undertaking that Kenya had decided we are going to pursue universal health coverage. We want to strengthen our NHIF. Uh, we know there are still gaps in some of the obvious areas, uh, the under five mortality, the infant mortality, maternal mortality, but the system needs to grow as a whole as opposed to in parts. Uh, you know, my mother likes to say to me when a baby is growing the right hand doesn't grow while well, the left hand is waiting for the right hand to finish growing they both grow at the same time plus the legs you know plus the head you kind of need to figure out a way to do it in tandem so the development partners were pretty critical in also helping us identify which other countries have walked this almost impossible journey you know, the initial reviews were you know Kenya can't do it um, your GDP um, to population ratio is still very low. You're still quite far behind. You should focus on the smaller issues. You can't get universal coverage. But I remember, you know, some of our bilateral colleagues in, in multilateral agencies introducing us to colleagues in Thailand, introducing us to colleagues in Japan who have walked this journey before with, a, you know, a low and middle income country budget. This was extremely important and took us to that other level. But it also built our confidence to scale up. And here we are, very confident we can do this, uh, of course, with partner support, but we're not shy anymore that we need to be developed, so to speak.